I am in a season of waiting. I am getting out of the funk of being annoyed at my season of waiting and I'm really working on putting future dreams into actions with what I have now. Hey guys, it's Laura from Cool Mom and Collected. Today we are going to do something very exciting. We're gonna be making butter. Do I have a milk cow tied up to my travel trailer? No, but I do have some heavy whipping cream, which to my dismay, I heard is all you really need to make butter. So. I hope this encourages you guys not to wait for your dairy cow or your goat if you're dreaming of one to start making butter. Let's learn how to make butter right now together. This is Stonyfield Organic Heavy Whipping Cream and it expires tomorrow. So we're gonna be making some butter today, but not just anyway. I just got the Kilner Butter Churner, paid for it myself, got it off Amazon. I'll have my affiliate link in case you guys wanna get one as well. And I'm in love. I love the detail. We're in a season of sustainability. We wanna learn how to do our own things. And being that it's so small, it's really not that large, I decided that this would be worth keeping in the RV if it meant me and the kids could learn how to make butter together. A few things that I've learned right off the bat investigating how to make butter is one, you wanna use a heavy whipping cream. Number two, before you start churning, you wanna make sure that the whipping cream is not ice cold and you wanna make sure that it's not warm. Having either of those is gonna kind of ruin it. You want it to be room temperature. If you're gonna make your butter in a jar is that you don't wanna fill it all the way up to the top and then start churning. You don't want it to be more than half of what's in your jar is what I've heard because then it won't allow there to be room for the butter to form, which makes sense. This is just one pint of cream. So let's see how it works. You should also all be made known that I'm sweating profusely because I turn off the AC so that you can hear me when I'm doing these videos. Hit the like button and subscribe. Ooh, Ooh little chunky. It almost looks like it started curdling already. It's Okay, shh, 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 what's happening? So, there were definitely some chunks in there. I don't know if that's normal, but we're gonna go with it. I guess I'll start. It's amazing how like doing something like this can make you feel like you're back in pioneer times. Let me know in the comments below, am I the only one that used to watch those shows where families from modern day would go back and see if they could survive and live in the pioneer times, dress like them and prepare for winter? There was that show on PBS 13. Let me know if you used to watch it. I can't remember the name of it, but literally that was my jam. I wish I could do that to this day. Actually, while I'm churning this butter, can we all just put like awesome homesteading channels that everybody is loving or homesteading shows? How are you guys preparing if you're in your season of waiting and what are you waiting for? I would love to know that in the comments below. Oh, I like that you can hold it here too. That makes sense. I'm not gonna lie. I was sweating before because the AC was off, but I'm really sweating now. <laughs> it's still fun. Come in. Let's get them. What happened? Oh, look, I'm starting to see some curdling. Let's show them. Look at that. Do you notice how it's getting into butter? I can't believe it. It's your turn. Try? Yeah, you're both gonna try. We can pop pie for dinner. Oh, little boy, do you want to try? Give me your hand. Whoa, are you, <laughs> you look like you're riding a motorcycle. <laughs> Remember the whipping cream we had mm -hmm. in the carton? So I poured it in and we started churning 
And after 10 minutes, it looks like there's a big thing of butter in there. The rest of the no. liquid is gonna be buttermilk. And we can use that for baking and different things. And drinking. Yeah, we could try it. We could drink it if you guys want. I can't wait to eat it. It's ready. Let's see. Okay, it looks like it's ready. Let's see, so it's been about 10 minutes. And you can see the hardened butter, right? In the middle and the, and the milk around it. So it definitely made the butter. Now we have a mason jar and we have a strainer. We're going to this off. Oh boy, can I please lick it? Well, I don't think we licked this part. Um, no, I want to test it. <gasps> no, look, it's coming through. It's juice. Well, this is the buttermilk, not the butter. Where's the butter? <gasps> Whoa, the <laughs> butter just popped out. Here is our butter. It looks like it's already made. We're gonna need to salt it, and we're also going to <laughs> squeeze more of the buttermilk out of it. My hands are rust. Ooh. <laughs> Can I please feel? Okay, hold on. This is not what I thought it'd feel like. Oh, oh man. I dropped a piece of... That's okay. I heard that rinsing it with cold water... Yeah. It makes it ...is gonna wet. help get the buttermilk out. In order for it to last longer, you're supposed to rinse it, squeeze all of the buttermilk out. The water gets cloudier, I've heard, which is the buttermilk leaving so that it won't spoil. Only mine feels a little creamier. This is the butter. Oh. I think it needs to harden in the fridge for a little bit. This is how much I got from one pint, although a lot of it is on my hands right now. Okay, my hands is, my hand is completely Butter. Now we're gonna try the buttermilk. You guys ready? Yes. Go sit over there. I'll try it first. Mmm, that's good. Tastes a little nutty. This is the leftover buttermilk that we can use for drinking, baking, um, dressings, I heard. If we're able for our weekly Sabbath, one of the things that we love to do is make challah bread. It's just something that sets the night apart and makes it really fun and delicious. The idea of adding butter into the mix and doing it with the kids every Friday sounds really good. I am so excited to pop that challah in the oven and then have fresh butter to put on top of it. It's gonna be so delicious. So creamy. The salt was a good touch, just a pinch. Mm. We in the butter making business. So creamy. Creamy. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you enjoyed making butter with me. Let me know in the comments below if you choose to make butter and hit subscribe if you want to continue to follow along my sustainability journey, even living tiny. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.